Why did Jesus pray to God if he is God? Beloved in Christ, today we ponder a profound question. Why did Jesus pray to God if he is God? This inquiry leads us into the heart of the Trinity, the unity of God as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In the Holy Scripture, Jesus tells us in John 10, 30, I and the Father are one. Here, Christ speaks of a unity beyond our understanding, a oneness that is the essence of the Trinity. It's not three gods we worship, but one God in three persons. Like water, which can be ice, liquid, or steam, yet remains water, so is God, distinct in form, but unified in essence. So why did Jesus, God the Son, pray to God the Father? In Matthew 26, 39, as Jesus prays in Gethsemane, he says, My Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. This moment reveals the heart of the Trinity, a relationship of love, submission, and unity. Jesus, fully God yet fully man, demonstrates his submission to the Father's will, reflecting the perfect harmony within the Trinity. His prayer also shows his humanity. Hebrews 4, 15 tells us, For we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weaknesses. Jesus prayed as we pray, feeling our pains, our struggles, expressing dependence on the Father, showing us the way to live in faith. In understanding why Jesus prayed, we glimpse the mystery of the Trinity, one God in relational unity, diverse yet unified, separate but one. As we reflect on this mystery, let us draw near to God in prayer, just as Jesus did, embracing our place in this divine relationship. Amen. As we seek to understand why Jesus prays to God, if he is God, let us turn our hearts to the role of the Holy Spirit within the Holy Trinity. The Holy Spirit, as revealed in John 14, 26, but the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you is a distinct yet integral part of the Trinity, working in unity with the Father and the Son. In this divine mystery, the Holy Spirit's role is not separate but harmoniously intertwined with the Father and the Son. The Spirit's presence in Jesus' life is a testament to this unity. When Jesus, God incarnate, prayed to the Father, he did so in the power of the Spirit, exemplifying the interconnectedness within the Trinity. As Romans 8:26 states, in the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. The Spirit intercedes for us just as Jesus prayed to the Father. This intercession reflects the beautiful symphony of the Trinity, distinct roles, yet a unified purpose. Jesus' prayer life while on earth was a model for us, facilitated by the Holy Spirit. He prayed not out of necessity, but out of a relationship, revealing the intimate communion within the Trinity. Through Jesus' prayers, we see the Spirit's work in bringing us closer to God teaching us and reminding us of Jesus' words. Some of the answer to this divine mystery lies in contemplating Jesus' dual nature, fully God, yet fully human. In the sacred scriptures, John 1.14 tells us, the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. Here the divine becomes human. Jesus, the word, part of God himself, took on human form. He wasn't half God and half human, but completely both. This profound truth allows us to grasp why Jesus prayed. As fully God, Jesus performed miracles, forgave sins, and rose from the dead, showcasing his divine nature. Yet as fully human, he experienced hunger, sorrow, and pain. In Hebrews 4.15 we learn, For we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weaknesses, but one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet he did not sin. Jesus felt our struggles, knew our pains, and thus he prayed as we do. When Jesus prayed, he demonstrated his humanity, his need to communicate with his Father. In Luke 22, 42, he prays, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me, yet not my will, but yours be done. Here, his human will align with the divine will, showing both his humanity and divinity. Jesus' prayer life is a bridge between heaven and earth, between God and humanity. In his prayers, we see the perfect balance of his dual nature, fully embracing the human experience while maintaining his divine essence. More answers to this mystery lie in the purpose of Jesus' prayers, which reveal his deep reliance on and submission to the Father, illuminating the essence of communication with God in human life. In the Holy 
scriptures, we find Jesus, God incarnate, often withdrawing to solitary places to pray. Mark 1.35 tells us, very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. This act was not a mere ritual, but an expression of his intimate relationship with the Father. Despite his divine nature, Jesus showed us the importance of seeking guidance and strength in prayer. His prayers were a testament to his submission to the Father's will. In the Garden of Gethsemane, facing the shadow of the cross, Jesus prayed, Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. Luke 22, 42. Here we witness the Son of God, embodying perfect obedience and surrender, choosing the Father's plan over his human desires. Jesus' prayers demonstrate that communication with God is vital, not just as a divine obligation, but as a heartfelt yearning to align with God's will. It reminds us, his followers, that prayer is our lifeline to the Father, a channel through which we express our dependence, seek guidance, and surrender our will to his greater plan. Now let us delve into the profound intercessory role of Christ. His prayers, particularly in John 17 to 9 to 23, unveil his deep concern and boundless love for us, showcasing his pivotal role as the mediator between God and humanity. In the sacred passage of John 17, Jesus, the Son of God, lifts his voice in prayer, not for himself, but for his disciples and all believers. He prays, I pray for them. I am not praying for the world, but for those whom you have given me, for they are yours. John 17, 9. Here Jesus exemplifies his role as our intercessor, carrying the weight of our needs and concerns to the Father. This divine intercession reveals Jesus' heartfelt commitment to his followers. He implores the Father for our protection, unity, and sanctification. As stated, Holy Father, protect them by the power of your name. John 17, 11. His prayers reflect his desire for us to experience the fullness of God's love and truth. Furthermore, Jesus' intercession is not limited to his earthly ministry. It extends into the heavenly realms. Hebrews 7.25 affirms, Therefore he can save completely those who come to God through him, because he always lives to intercede for them. As our eternal high priest, Jesus continually stands in the gap for us, advocating on our behalf before the Father. In comprehending why Jesus prayed, we are reminded of his unceasing love and dedication as our intercessor. His prayers on earth and his ongoing intercession in heaven assure us of his constant presence and advocacy. Jesus' life of prayer exemplifies his dependence on divine guidance for every crucial decision. Scripture provides us with profound insights into this aspect. In the quiet before dawn, Jesus sought solitude to commune with the Father. Mark 1.35 illustrates this, stating, Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. These moments of prayer were not mere rituals. They were times of earnest seeking, aligning his will with the Father's. His reliance on prayer is most vividly depicted at pivotal moments. Before selecting his 12 apostles, a decision that would shape the future of his ministry, Luke 6, 12 to 13 tells us, one of those days Jesus went out to a mountainside to pray and spent the night praying to God. When morning came, he called his disciples to him and chose 12 of them, whom he also designated apostles. Here, Jesus demonstrates that prayer is not a sign of weakness, but of utmost strength, a channel through which divine wisdom flows into human decisions. Moreover, in the Garden of Gethsemane, confronted with the imminent reality of the cross, Jesus sought the Father's presence in prayer, expressing both his anguish and submission. As seen in Luke 22, 42, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me, yet not my will, but yours be done. Thus, in answering why Jesus prayed, we see a powerful example of how prayer is integral to fulfilling God's mission. Jesus, fully divine, chose prayer as the means to seek guidance, demonstrate obedience, and fulfill his purpose on earth. Let us, therefore, embrace prayer as our compass, guiding us through life's decisions and missions, anchored in the divine will. Amen.